All right, hey 704, how's it going? So I'm gonna use my guitar today to demonstrate some of the science concepts we've been working on lately in class. And hopefully this will be a good example for your tutorials that you guys are working on. We're using your interests to show your understanding of certain scientific concepts. Okay, so straight up, we're gonna start with the simplest things. Um, all matter is made up of elements. The periodic table is filled with all the known elements and those can be represented as the simple, simplest form of matter, can't be broken down any smaller. And I'm gonna represent that by a single note. Okay, so there are any number of different notes I can play, and each one has its own qualities and its own uses, just like the elements in the periodic table, right? Now, certain elements will bond together, and when they bond together, we call that a compound, okay? So they fit together and they form a compound. S only certain combinations will work. So if I put two notes together and they bond perfectly, you get this beautiful harmonic sound together. Those notes fit perfectly well. That represents a chemical bond forming a nice compound, okay? Now there are certain other elements that just don't bond and won't fit together and you end up with something that might sound kind of like this. Kind of cringy, right? So that discord represents a lack of chemical bonding. It doesn't form the compound that sounds as nice as this. Okay, so next, um, I want to show how you can have different combinations of elements and compounds to make different substances. So if I have what's called a pure substance, every single particle in that substance is identical. So I'm going to use octave notes um, to show what a pure substance might sound like if it had a sound. So I've played three different A notes there. Identical. So every single note in this pattern is an A note. Okay, and I can move that to a different spot on the fretboard as well. It could sound like this. All A notes, pure substance, every particle is identical. Now, if I mix certain substances together, sometimes they blend perfectly. And so I can take a whole bunch of different um, elements or compounds, mix them together, and sometimes they form what's called a homogeneous mixture or a solution. And in that case, they all fit together beautifully. And even though they're different, you get a uniform sound. And I'm going to use a chord, a bar chord, an A bar chord to represent that. So if I play all these different notes together, they sound like this. It's a very uniform sound, despite the fact that there are six different notes being represented. If I play them independently, they sound like this. But when played together, they create a uniform sound, which represents a solution, a uniform mixture, okay? Lastly, I want to show you how a heterogeneous mixture might sound. So that is a combination of particles or elements that don't really combine. So you could stir them up, you can put them all together, but ultimately they just don't blend together to form a new substance. You can still distinctly see the separate parts and it'll never really dissolve into each other. That's called a heterogeneous mixture, okay? And that could be represented by a really sort of ugly, evil sounding chord that might sound like this. See, it doesn't, just doesn't gel, right? The notes don't go together the same way they did with that chord. Okay, those particles are not miscible, meaning they don't mix, they don't dissolve into one another, they remain separate, distinct, unresolved, that is a heterogeneous mixture. Okay, so I've used music and a guitar to show you how different sounds can represent different parts of matter and uh, hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. Okay, take it easy.